Morning, everyone. It's uh, 8.27 on this Friday, end of a short week, um, the 9th of September. And this is your pre-opening comment, number 1443. Okay, chart on the screen is the dollar, and it's up there, and I'm mentioning it right now because this is probably one of the more important charts to look at. Um, as I told you yesterday and the day before, Dennis has uh, called this a top and a reversal and sees it lower. Um, in case you don't recall, Dennis is the one who does our uh, futures trading program. Um, and I see it the same way. I'm not sure if it's going to hold. We have seen this before. Recovery high, reversal down. Uh, this is a move from roughly a dollar five back to a dollar one. So you know, okay, this one was the same setup and moved from a dollar nine down to a dollar four, also about a nickel. Uh, this one is uh, from one ten seventy eight to today's low one o. 835. So uh, if it follows the others, we'll have some sideways and lower action and probably get to this area of breakout followed by a test down in the uh, area of about 107. The reason that this is so important is because there are so many products that are um, that we focus on that are um, only quoted in dollars. Uh, oil is one, and oil uh, bounced off yesterday's lows and uh, hasn't really made a huge run, but it is back over 85 after trading down to 81.20. Uh, now, I can't tell you that there's not going to be supply here at 86.50 to 87, even all the way up to 88. Uh, but it is an interesting bounce. Also, uh, Nat Gas has bounced a bit. Uh, the gold, which has really been pounded lately, is also up ten dollars and eighty cents. It's you know, it's in a trading range right here, but it is constructive just like it was constructive here when we went from 1700 to 1820 in three weeks. So we have a slightly higher low down here at 1699. Um, you know, I, in order for me to see this with a change of direction, I'd have to see this purple line, the five day going through the 20 day back to the upside. Uh, other markets that uh, we can look at, uh, the soft market, uh, coffee up, sugar up, cocoa up. Uh, so those are all international commodities that are traded in dollars. So we're showing down 60. Oh, Bitcoin, by the way, up almost 1800 and uh, Ethereum is uh, up 61. The bonds are just up seven thirty seconds, so about a quarter of a dollar. Um, the futures have been hanging around the up two hundred level in the Dow. Uh, got back down from went from two ten to twenty down to about one eighty. Last is up two hundred and ten again. The Nasdaq went from uh, up one hundred and twenty to up about. Uh, 100 currently up 130 and uh, the S&P the broadest of them uh, went from uh, up 28 to uh, up only 25 and right now we're looking at up 31 okay DocuSign had earnings yesterday great earnings good guidance uh, stock closed 57.95. The high this morning is 69. Last 67.23 up 9.27 or 16 percent. Regeneron uh, yesterday was up 112. I've 
neglected uh, to mention this yesterday, although it was in last night's um, daily note. Um, the uh, treatment that they have, there are actually two. There's a wet eye um, macular degeneration, and then there's a, that's age related. And then there's a diabetes related one. And both of them, uh, have great results. That was what was discussed yesterday. So up 112 yesterday, this morning, 713 up another 415, uh, Kroger, KR beat top and bottom line. This is after several firms lowered their price objective just yesterday. Uh, the stock had closed at 48.36. It's been as high as 51.30. The last is 50, up about a dollar 64 or 3.2%. And uh, our mostly senile president is going to the groundbreaking today in Ohio for Intel's new uh, foundry and plant. Um, this is kind of strange uh, because here's what I don't understand. We, the sh taxpayers, are going to enrich the shareholders of Intel as part of a $250 billion chips bill. Yes, I know we need to be less reliant. Yes, I know uh, that it puts us at a security, national security risk. But, you know, we're paying for it. And as long as we're paying for it, we ought to, instead of just enriching the current shareholders, maybe we ought to get stock or options to buy stock from Intel, as long as in the end, I'll repeat, we are paying for it. Okay, uh, I'll get off my soapbox and tell you that Asia and Europe are both up. As I said, the dollar's down. Uh, that helps commodities. And uh, it's been a short week. It seemed like we jammed a lot into it. Oh, and by the way, uh, the comments that I made on Sunday night about uh, the S&P having an upside of uh, in the neighborhood of 4050, today's high so far, 4037, with the last of 4036 and three quarters, up $31 in the futures. Have a good one. I'll be back Monday.